everybody, welcome back to the Winks at Dawn update. Woohoo! So, we have Shan here saying good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This week's weekly development update comes a little late in the evening from evening here from York. Today's spotlight is our team human with some of our background development from programming spingled on top. Soon, trademark from our concept artists. Our concept artists, Peb and Viteris, have are working on human related stuff at the moment. We have seen some of Peb's earlier work on human armor and armor 3D models. I have to make sure that, there we go. Sorry about that guys. I know that was really annoying background sounds. They are right. uh, human armor and armor 3D model sheets. They are currently continued to work with refining the heavy tier wooden armor concepts. Meanwhile, our lead concept artist Viteris has begun work with new human UI. So still heavy work in progress. Heavy work in work in progress. Anyway, these are still heavy work in work in progress. The latter being very early sketch concept stage. Now chosen to not show further visual progress on them yet at this early stage. However, expect to see some nice visuals on the next Team Human update. Flight system adjustments. Action has been finalizing things for the Dragons while flying. There is a camera shake, which the intensity visually notifies the player on how fast the player is diving and flying. To emphasize the feeling of speed. A small amount of camera lag has been added to the Dragons. The faster you go, the less control you have over the flight. Think quickly. Adding on to the effects, we have implemented an epilepsy safe mode in the settings menu, which can be used to disable this effect. The setting can be toggled off and on. Disclaimer that this epilepsy safe mode does not yet affect other things like lighting, weather effects, lightning, sorry, lightning, weather effects, lighting, or other graphical effects in the game. Though we will slowly expand on them due time. As a reminder and disclaimer, please note that the current flight system that we have for the pre-alpha tech demo is not finalized or final presentation of the flight system that we want to have in the full release of the game. We'll be returning to existing things and adjusting, editing, and introducing new things over time. You get the little camera shake right there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Love it. New current elemental attacks. Amazing Hathet has also not only implemented, but crafted custom particle effects VFX for the current elemental attacks. As it is known, as it's known, sorry, current is our small lightning dragon. However, just like all dragons in our game, each species utilizes and has evolved to form different attacks from their similar counterparts. Instead of a breath attack, Kieran uses the single horn on his forehead to channel lightning outwards, creating powerful bolts or waves of lightning in its wake. Disclaimer, that these attacks showcased are still work in progress and are subject to change. The attack range, damage input, etc. have yet to be tested in a larger scale and will be adjusted and balanced accordingly. Lightning bolt, light elemental attack, is a quick ball or bolt of lightning that is shot forward. It doesn't do much damage considering the small size of the dragon, but it's faster than the Vulcan's fireball or Icy Crown's ice sphere. There's no noise yet. Very beautiful. Let's let's redo that. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. I dig it. Lightning Wave. Heavy Elemental Attack is a medium range attack with an area effect. If the attack starts small and reaches horizontally sideways in a wave like motion, hitting any targets in its path. Oh, that's cool. Still no sound for it. That's okay, though. Beautiful. Love it. Message from our Fenrir. Hello, Fenrir here. It's been a while and I've been working as soon as I thought I recovered enough to start. I've been working on the human inventory systems while using an external HUD designed as a base. 
Right now, most of the inventory systems, including item crafting, work. However, there isn't much to show you as of now, as the overwhelming majority of the roughly 800 lines of code is for inventory back end, and the user interface is not implemented yet. If you think 800 lines aren't a lot, you're right, and that's the whole point. More readable code is more easily maintained and refactored for easier optimization if needed. And then here's the applications and the Patreons and stuff like that. They still need uh, 3D artists, 3D animators, C++ uh, people. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. I know it was kind of a short one today. I am super happy that they're working on an epilepsy, epilepsy, sorry, epilepsy safe mode. Very cool. That's going to rock. Um, totally ignore that on the bottom left, I'm playing uh, Warhammer 40k recording videos for you guys. But uh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I actually did talk to someone. Um, recently, they've been wondering if I've been paid by the Wings of Dawn, which is hilarious. But no, I have not. I just, I just have very good feelings about the game. That's why I talk about it so much. I love this game, and I want to see it succeed and everything like that. So I know it s sounds kind of sappy when I say it like that, but that's totally okay, you know? But yeah, this is the end of the video. Please like and subscribe if you like the content. If you didn't, that's perfectly fine. We all have our different opinions on everything. And uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.